Good morning, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Day Devotional. It is Friday once again, March 17, 2023. Our scripture this morning is going to be in the book of Numbers, chapter 13. We'll read verse 33. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come off the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. This morning, I want to talk to you about being intimidated by giants, seeing some obstacles that to us might be too big to overcome. Rereading our scriptures this morning, um, if we read the whole chapter 13, we learn that uh, Moses, they're, they're sitting in the border of, of, of Canaan, the Israelites are, and Moses sent 12 spies into the land to get some recon information, right? Uh, and when they returned, Ten of them had this to say, if you read verse 28. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. They concluded on, on verse 31 by saying, But the man that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Their negative report was so discouraging uh, to the Israelites that they were afraid to invade Canaan. Even though the Lord had promised he'll help them. These are the same people that got free from Egypt. The same people that God spread the Red Sea for them to cross in dry land. But yet they were afraid. Does this ever happen to you? You're initially excited about a project and even, even though you are aware that you will face difficulties, you're overcome with the feeling of uh, optimism when you begin. God has promised to be with you. You know that we can, that he could do miracles, right? But when it actually comes time to, to launch whatever project you're starting or beginning, you allow yourself to be discouraged by naysayers or, or people that don't, don't want to see you succeed. And you end up getting cold feet and, and back out because you're, you're scared of uh, what's coming ahead. It's human nature to be scared and say there are giants in the land. It's, it's the default setting of our natural mind to see problems as huge and to feel as the size of a grasshopper compared to the problems or the obstacles in front of you. But we should have our faith in God. Uh, God obviously would help us and we could overcome any obstacle. Doesn't matter how big uh, the obstacle might, might seem to us or sometimes how small, you know, small obstacles, we might make them seem like they're, they're giants in our, in our life. And after all, we know uh, that if God is with us, who can be against us, right? Uh, this morning, uh, moving forward in our day and our days to come, right? We know we're going to have obstacles come in our life. We know we're going to have problems. But we should put our faith in God, right? Just like um, Caleb did. If you read, uh, Caleb was the only, if you read chapter uh, 13, Caleb was the only one that, that was ready. He, he, he didn't hesitate. He, he had his faith in God, and he was ready to go and uh, invade Canaan. But the, the rest were afraid. Uh, I pray that... Uh, we're more like Caleb and, and are, are willing to put our faith in God and, and, and let God uh, guide us and, and be in charge of our lives. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this morning you give us. Lord, thank you for the for the rain, Lord, that you you brought this morning. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you be with us, Lord, as, as we go through our day, Father, and our tasks that we have to uh, do today, Father. Lord, I pray, Lord, that we put our faith in you, Lord, that any obstacle, Lord, that might seem like giants in our life, Father, that, that we, Lord, uh, put our faith in you, Lord, and know, Father, that we could do all things with you, Father, that this strengthen us, Lord, and Lord, I pray that you put a hedge of protection around my, my brothers and sisters, Father, this morning, Lord, and Lord, allow us to be of a witness to you, Father, to, to this lost and dying world, Lord. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless. Have a great day.